this video, we are going to go over running a hypothesis test for population proportion in SAS. And as you know, we have those three types of uh, hypothesis tests, a left-tailed, a two-tailed, and a right-tailed. So a left-tailed hypothesis test, we are going to run this as data, and then a name such as M1, crit is equal to quantile of normal, 1 minus alpha, 0, 1, and then A is equal to the absolute value of the probability of success minus population mean divided by the square root of the probability of success times probability of failure divided by sample size. And stat is equal to CDF of normal probability of success prob uh, population mean and the square root of probability of success times probability of failure divided by sample size. And then run. The two tail wants the same thing only with uh, two times the cumulative distribution function of that normal probability of success population mean square root of probability of success times probability of failure divided by sample size. And the right tail test is the same thing as the left tail but with a 1 minus that CDF value. So let's do an example here. And. Let us run a, let's go in order, left-tailed, two-tailed, and right-tailed hypothesis test for an alpha of 5%, probability of success, of let us do 43% and a sample size of 1000. Okay. So for this, we are using data, let's call this M1. If I could type today, that would be helpful. Crit is equal to quantile. This is to get the z, the, um, the z score for this. Normal of 1 minus alpha. So if alpha is 5%, so 1 minus 0 0.05. 0 and 1. A is going to be equal to the absolute value of the probability of success, and we refer to that as 43%. So 0.43. Minus the population mean, which I did not emphasize, so let me put that on here. And a no hypothesis. No hypothesis equal to, let's do 50%. So 50%, it's going to be our population proportion, or population mean in this case. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of the probability of success of 0.43 times the probability of failure which would be 0.57 divided by the sample size of 1000. And from this then, the um, I'm going to call this the left stat just because I'm going to put all three of these on the same one. This would be CDF of normal probability of success of 0 0.43. The population mean, which is that prob probability for the population of 0.5. And then the square root of 0.43 times 0.57 divided by 1,000.
the two-tailed one, so two stat, this is going to be two times the CDF of the normal distribution. 0 0.43, 0 0.5, and the square root of 0 0.43 times 0 0.57 divided by 1,000. And the right stat is the same thing as the left stat, only with a 1 minus CDF of normal. 0 0.43 for the probability of success. The population um, mean or proportion is 0 0.5. And the square root in 0.43 times uh, probability of success of 0.43 times probability of failure of 0.57 divided by, if I hit the right button, divided by a thousand. And we're going to run this. And we're going to do a proc print data is equal to m1 and 1. Okay. This is going to do all three of these at the same time. And as you can see, we are given not the result that I was hoping for. We are given an error. And that is because of something that I wrote up here. Oh, I know why. It's because I have the space in here. Nope, that did not do either. That got rid of most of it, but not all of it. And let us see if I could just quickly. Oh, I forgot a semicolon. Be very careful when typing these things in so you don't forget semicolons like I just did. There we go. That's much better. So the left, um, the if we'd had a left tail hypothesis, the p value would be zero point zero 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 three eight eight nine. The two statistic one is zero point zero 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 seven 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 seven, and the right statistic one has a value of one. The reason why it looks like a value of one is because this left statistic was very small. So because of that one we did one minus that. We got an answer that appears to be one, but it's uh, the way it's due to the rounding of that. Let me just see if we have a little bit better of an S. Okay, yeah, here we go. If we were going to need the output data, we have a little bit better of an estimate of it. So left statistic was the uh, p-value was uh, this three point eight eight six six seven three e negative six in scientific notation, but the right statistic was zero point nine 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 six one 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 three, so not quite one, but that's just the way SAS had um, rounded that. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.